Sometimes during hurricane season, you hear terminology like subtropical and tropical. You might be wondering what in the world is the difference? I'm here to break it down for you. And one thing that is similar between the two, they're both low pressures. There's no difference there. They both feed off the warm water of the ocean. But one difference from subtropical to tropical, subtropical gets its energy from other places as well as the warm water. So that's a difference. Also a difference, the rain usually far away from the center of the storm. They're usually very lopsided subtropical systems are and their wind fields are usually a lot larger than a tropical system. So the low pressure is the same, but the structure is a little bit different. Now example of that was tropical storm and subtropical storm Alberto back in 2018. They can go through a transition period and that's exactly what subtropical storm Alberto did. Early on stages you can see here. Here's the center of it, but notice where all the showers and thunderstorms and clouds are away from the center. This is where all the heavy rainfall is and the wind field of this was very, very large. Now, as it went through time, it started to feed more off the warm waters of the ocean and it started to make that transition to a tropical system. As you can see here, now all the clouds are closer to the center. This is where the heavier rain is and the wind field compacted a little bit. But regardless, whether you have a tropical or subtropical system, the impacts don't really change for your area. You can still feel the heavy rains and high winds along with coastal flooding.